All right, guys, got a, another payout today. This is the total amount recovered. So this, this is not my net. This is the total recovery. Majority of that will go to our clients. This is an estate case. Uh, what's interesting, though, this one's kind of special, guys, because it's um, something that I'd never done before I was able to do on this, okay? So, well, they spelled my name wrong, which is kind of a bummer. I hope that's not an issue. It might be. But you'll see right there, after my name, it says PR of the estate and then the estate of the deceased homeowners down below. So this is why this, this case was special to me because I learned something, was able to do this deal in a way that I'd never done deals before. And that's just kind of, it goes to show that like, you can be in this business for a while. I've been in it since 2015, full time since 2017. And you're still going to learn new things. You're still going to find ways to do deals differently. And so you're, you're constantly learning in this business. Okay. And you got to be able to adapt and overcome. So primarily, initially we filed this claim on behalf of the heirs and no probate had been done. Okay. So we were using what are called intestate succession laws. Okay. You can go Google that if you want. And we based our claim off of intestate succession laws. The court decided to deny our claim, said, no, we're not going to pay out the money. You have to go do a probate. So he said, okay, if the court wants us to do a probate, we'll do a probate. Had to pay 2,500 bucks to get it done. But you can see the result. You know, we recovered over $100,000. So is it worth it? For me, it is. <laughs> Maybe it's not for you. But what was different about this is the, the heirs, my clients, were brothers, and none of them lived in the state where the property had been foreclosed on, okay? And my probate attorney actually suggested, he's like, hey, you could be the personal representative, or you could be the executor of the estate. And I was like, I can? You can actually do that? And he said, yeah, as long as the heirs sign off on it, you can do that. And so that was something that I'd never heard of before, never done before, where you can be elected as the executor of an estate. You don't have to be an actual relative of the deceased. I thought that was kind of interesting and it's kind of cool. I can see that that could help in a lot of particular cases, specifically maybe you've got cases where there's family drama, or maybe in this case you've got... Um, heirs who don't really want to take a very active role in the process, then that's something you could do and you could offer for them is you could say, hey, I'll be the PR, I'll handle everything from A to Z. And there is going to be some extra work. So with this case, it's not just the claiming process that I'll be doing. Um, I got to file some stuff for the actual estate, probably have to file a tax return for the estate. So there's a lot of other additional steps and additional work that's going to be done on my end to wrap this thing up. Okay. It's not a, just a straightforward claim, but that's okay because that's also something you can utilize and leverage to justify a higher percentage split. Okay. Um, anyway, so kind of a cool, unique situation, something that's new, something that I'd never done before until now. And I see a, um, I see kind of the, an opportunity there for certain types of cases. And uh, yeah, I wanted to share that with you guys. And um, that's a big golden nugget. So hopefully you use it and it's valuable. And if you do, let me know. Guys, if any, if any of the info that I've put out, whether you're a student or not, has helped you, I'd appreciate it if you'd let me know how it has helped you. Um, you know, not, not just my, my program, but also just the free info that I put out there. I'd appreciate it. So anyway, that's all for today. We'll talk to you all later.